Hi, welcome to The Stair Tailored. My name is Sarah Powell and I work at the University of Texas at Austin. Today I'm here to talk to you about word problem instruction and we're gonna focus specifically on the gestures that we can use to describe different schemas. Now when we think about a schema, a schema tells us what the, the, is the structure of the word problem. Really like what's the meaning of this word problem? And there are six schemas that we see regularly used across the elementary and middle school grades. So we have total difference and change problems. Those right here are additive schemas. And then we have equal groups, comparison, and ratios and proportions. And those are our multiplicative schemas. Now we can use gestures to help students really think about, well, what does this word problem mean? What type of schema is represented in this word problem? And now I'll show you some examples. So first we have total problems. Remember in a total problem, we have parts put together for a total. So we like to hold our hands apart and then put them together to show parts put together for a total. Do make sure that when you are describing total problems that you do not say, two parts put together for a total, because then that's not gonna work very well with three and four part total problems. But you can just say, our parts put together for a total. With our next additive schema, we think about difference problems. In difference problems, we have a greater amount and a lesser amount, and we compare those for a difference. So I like to hold up one hand here, this is the greater amount, the lesser amount, and then we kind of shake them back and forth to think about the difference between the greater and lesser amounts. You can also show this on a number line orientation. So I could ask about the greater amount and the lesser amount and comparing those for a difference. Now with change problems, in change problems we have one amount that increases or decreases. So for gestures we say kind of put one hand down to the side or sometimes behind your back and you say I have one amount that increases or decreases. Again, one amount that increases or decreases decreases. If you also wanted to do this on a number line, that would be a fine. You have one amount that increases or decreases. Either of those will work. And the real big emphasis here is that you have one amount and something is happening to increase or decrease that amount. Now for equal groups problems, this helps us uh, segue into our multiplicative word problems. And in equal groups problem, we have groups with an equal number in each group. So we'll hold out our hand like this. I have my clicker in my hand, but you would not probably have that. But we have equal groups with an equal number in each group. So just kind of showing the dip of the equal numbers in each groups, just like that. For comparison problems here, we have a set that's compared a number of times. So here with a comparison problem, I show my set, and then I'm gonna show hops along a number line just like that. So we ask students, is there a set compared a number of times. And then for ratios and proportions problems, here we're looking at the relationships among different quantities. So we'll ask students, well, if this is to that, is this to that? So then we're showing those two proportions and the relationships among those proportions with our hands. So that was a quick review of how we can use the word problem gestures to help students uh, understand the structure of word problems. And I'll review them very quickly so you can see how we can use them all at the same time. So I would ask students, is this a total problem where parts are put together for a total? Is this a difference problem where amounts are compared for a difference? Or is this a change problem where one amount increases or decreases? For the multiplicative problems, I would ask, well, is this an equal groups problem where I have groups with an equal number in each group? Is this a comparison problem where I have a set compared a number of times? Or is this a ratios and proportions problem where if this is to that, then this is to that? Good luck using your word problem gestures. See you soon.